Here across the Bay Area, we're seeing protests as well after that draft was released. Yeah, so uh, let's get to the what we're seeing here. People on both sides of the argument, by the way, standing up for what they believe in. Crown Force Camila Barco standing by in the newsroom with that part of our coverage. Camila. Good morning, Dara James. So yeah, many people across the Bay Area voiced their opinion for both sides of the issue in San Francisco and Oakland. People protested the leaked draft opinion that reveals the court is moving to overturn Roe v. Wade. Here's a look at the turnout in San Francisco and Oakland. Pro-choice pro -choice rallies were held outside the federal buildings in each silly city. Families, community activists, elected officials all called to keep abortion safe and legal. The CEO of Planned Parenthood says if Roe v. Wade is overturned, more people will come to California seeking an abortion. Attorney General Bob Bonta vowed that California will always stand to protect protect reproductive rights. People in the crowds are still in disbelief that they are protesting something that many fought for 50 years ago. Well, we also checked in with pro-life activists in the East Bay. They prefer not to show their faces or names, but they say their cause has strengthened by this leaked opinion. These supporters volunteer for a movement called 40 Days for Life that's aimed to end abortions. Now, they're normally rallying outside Planned Parenthood in Walnut Creek six days a week. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, the group hopes California does not become a sanctuary for people having abortion. It's something Governor Gavin and Newsom has pledged to do. We are glad to hear that. Uh, we know there's still a lot of work to be done. It's very big news, but it's still a draft. And I am waiting with high anticipation for the final draft. We're there for the mothers, we're there for the babies, we're there for the fathers, we're there for our country, we're there for the world to recognize the, the sanctity of human life. Now, pro-choice groups say it's going to take more than just voicing their concerns to make sure this decision doesn't go through. They say it will have to take people to go to the polls and vote. So, Daria James, this conversation is far from over. We'll just have to see what the courts decide on this decision. For now, back to you. Okay. Thank you very much, Camila. 505 right now in California.